What would you say if I told you that these were not the same device? These are not the same DAC. I mean, look, look, normally that's got one there. I just, it's not there at the moment. Normally it's got one there. So don't pick that as a difference. So, but if I were to tell you that these were two different things, what, would you believe me? Because, I mean, there's nothing. Ah, oh, in this video, I'm reviewing the SMSL DO300 DAC. Let's get it. What's cracking, audio fans? It's David here from Prime Audio Reviews. So the SMSL DO300. Now, um, you might be asking, what's the difference between this and the DO200 Mark II? Considering there's, this one is about $80 more expensive. Well, basically it's the DAC chip inside. You see, this has the new flagship ES9039MS Pro. Holy moly. Did you get that? One more time. ES9039MS Pro DAC chip inside. It's got full MQA decoding and it supports up to 32-bit 768 kilohertz and DSD 512 is priced at $549. Now you might be wondering, is it worth the extra $80 over the DO200 Mark II? Stick around to find out. Before we dive in, I just want to say thanks to all you subscribers out there. If you're into audio content, really you should consider hitting that subscribe button so you don't miss out on all my future content. And by the way, I've got Patreon account set up, link in the description. If you want to support the channel, otherwise than a like and a sub, I would very much appreciate that. Helps me to keep this channel going. But now back to our regular program. Well, since the exterior and the build is exactly the same as the DO200 Mark II, I'm not going to delve too deeply into all of that. If you want to learn about the build and the IO here, well, I'll, hopefully I'll put a card up on the screen here. I will say that it does have the same excellent color display as the DO200 Mark II and the same fantastic menu system, which I really wish topping would adapt something similar. I do, I would like to see it, uh, some more mature fonts here that the choice of typeface or the fonts is really not a good one. But apart from that, I love this color display. It's very useful. And the overall build feels really nice and solid. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk about how this sounds and how it performs. And then I will tell you how it compares with the DO200 Mark II. So $549. And you know what? Apart from that DAC chip, I can't really find within the specs any significant differences. Oh, I will tell you what, this DAC chip, well, this DAC has got some insane numbers. The numbers are just crazy. For example, the dynamic range from the balanced out, 134 dB. I kid you not, from the RCA, it's even better than a lot of balanced outs on other DACs. The RCA single-ended, output has a dynamic range of 128 decibels. Can you believe that? The signal to noise ratio is 134 dB. This is insane. In terms of output amplitude, we're looking at 5.2 VRMS from the balanced out and 2.5 from the RCA. That is really powerful. Now, of course, this does come with Bluetooth 5.0, which means you've got LDAC support and aptX HD. But I hear what you're saying. I hear what you're saying. Apart from that dynamic noise and signal to noise ratio, the numbers are a little bit better than the DO200 Mark II. But what about the sound? Does it actually sound any different? Let me tell you to put this little guy through its paces. I tested it with a variety of amplifiers and in addition I hooked it up to my Kali LP8 monitors and my Poke HTS12 subwoofer. But the true test of course was in the sound quality and I have to say the DO300 delivered in spades. The first thing I noticed was the incredible sense of space and the depth. The music seems to come alive as though the performers are right there in the room with you. 
the imaging is super precise it's really accurate and it makes it really easy to pick out individual instruments and voices the do 300 also excels in its handling of bass frequencies the bass is tight and it's controlled it's got this lovely sense of weight and power that's truly impressive and i found myself getting lost in the music almost constantly with this thing it seems to bring out details and nuances that i look for in all my favorite tracks and it also impressed me with its ability to handle a wide range of music genres from classical to rock jazz to hip-hop this guy is able to deliver a smooth and detailed sound that makes every track a real pleasure to listen to so it's got this lovely full weighted sound i would say it's basically neutral but it seems to have just perhaps a little subtle lift in the bass frequencies and that is fantastic because the the bass control is all there but the overall resolution and the detail is just incredible this is my first experience with this new um, saber dac and i gotta tell you man i am very very impressed it has uh, a lot of qualities that i admire about but this has still got that ESS special zing to it, but this DAC in particular, and, the, and whether it's the DAC chip or just the tuning, I don't know, but this is really quite special. So with that said, let's do a bit of a comparison with the DO200 Mark II. And as I showed you, they've got the same external design, identical chassis, identical display, and the in inputs and outputs are exactly the same on the back panel however the internal differences are immediately noticeable in terms of tonality resolution and the sound stage and when it comes to tonality i found the do 300 has a little extra weight in the bass and that gives music a more substantial and a weighty sound without compromising on the tight control in contrast the do 200 mark ii is slightly lighter in the bass which might be preferred by those who you know like a more analytical sound as for resolution and details the do 300 was undoubtedly the winner in my experience this one captures even the most delicate nuances in the music and has a higher level of resolution and transparency compared to the DO200 Mark II. The details are crystal clear and they provide a more accurate representation of the music to my ear. And on top of that, this one also offers a better and even better soundstage and instrument separation. It creates a more immersive and lifelike audio experience. So overall, this is a fantastic DAC. Yes, it's getting up there in terms of cost it's pretty expensive it's like over five hundred dollars but i tell you what uh you would be hard pressed to find other DACs that perform this well in terms of audio quality so what would i say overall the smsl do 300 dac it's fantastic it's a lovely piece of equipment and it, i i think it truly elevates my music experience super easy to use with that fantastic menu and color display it's versatile in terms of inputs and outputs it's got bluetooth most importantly though it delivers outstanding sound quality that will satisfy even the most demanding audiophile and with that said i highly recommend it to anyone looking to take their audio to the next level and I'm going to wrap it up there, guys. Thanks for watching the video. If you liked it, give it the old thumbs up, Parfam Audio File style. If you're new here, consider subscribing to the channel so you don't miss out on future content. And until next time, I'll see you later.